Hello, this is Chef Janie Pendleton, and today we are going to be uh, freezing up zucchini, uh, crook neck squash, and straight neck squash. Both of the yellow variety. This is actually Black Beauty, and you can see it gets fairly dark. It gets fairly large. Now, I like to pick them. This one right here kind of got away from me because we had another project going, construction project going, but this is about the size I actually like to pick them at. That way the seeds aren't too big on my zucchini. Now, I like growing the Black Beauty. They are a bush style, so they don't grow up the vertical garden, so you can plant these in the front or in a bed separate for themselves. These are a bush uh, type variety as well, both the crook neck and the straight neck Okay, squash. so now what we wanna do is we're gonna take, because of the uh, pesticides that, that people use and, and not, not even really sure that, I use organic, but never sure what comes off the farm fields. So what I, what I do here is I wash these really well. I scrub them with a wash rag with a little bit of dish soap. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rinse this and soak this in cold water for about five, 10 minutes. Now this is called blanching, and we're gonna blanch our squash, which is our yellow, crooked neck, straight neck, and zucchini squash. And I'm gonna describe why we're doing this in a minute. But what we wanna do at first here is we wanna fill our um, stock pot. And remember not to use aluminum. You don't wanna put aluminum in anything. This is stainless steel. Aluminum bleeds, uh, and it bleeds mercury, and that can cause mercury poisoning over time, especially if you're doing tomatoes or an acidic food. So what you wanna do is you wanna bring a third about three quarts to four quarts of water to a hard boil and in this we're going to add our spaghetti strainer pot okay and now I'm going to add another two quarts of water because this pot doesn't go down all the way and I'm going to add it to about the five to six quart mark we filled our shallow bowl up with some ice water uh, while this is over here boiling, this is going to get nice and cold. This is going to stop the blanching process. The reason why we blanch zucchini is because zucchini, like all fruits and vegetables, contain enzymes and bacteria that, uh, that can break down and destroy nutrients and change the color, flavor, and texture of your food during processing. So, uh, or during storage, excuse me. So you want to process your food and get rid of that bacteria. Now, um, this process is called blanching, and that's what I'm showing you how to do now. And you blanch, you can either blanch in boiling water or you can steam blanch. Now, it's pretty similar, the methods are pretty similar, but today I'm going to first show you how to cook blanch I'm something. Just cutting off the tips. There we go. And then we're going to cut these into about, uh, oh, about half inch slices. Now remember, one medium to large zucchini will serve a family of three or four. So, um, so when you freeze this and blanch this, be sure and do this one batch at a time, one meal at a time, because if you cut this too soon, it can turn brown and it starts to deteriorate and, and bacteriaize the food. So we're just gonna work with one at a time. Now note, if you wanna grate your zucchini for baking like breads instead of slicing them, then you'll want to steam blanch these. And you only want to steam blanch them for one to two minutes or until the uh, shredded zucchini is translucent, okay? And then you want to pack that in measured amounts that you're going to use for your breads or your recipe in, into containers. Now be sure and leave a half inch headspace for expansion and make sure that you pat most of the water out of it with between some paper towel, lots of layers of paper towel. So if these are too wet, like I said, just pat them lightly with paper towel, get most of that water out, before you even take it to the freezer to freeze it. This will help keep it fresh and crisp and keep it from um, being too mushy when you cook it the second time around, okay? And you still wanna put this in the cold water bath just like you did before when you're shredding it. And that's how you make the shredded version, of, uh, freeze the shredded version of, of zucchini, okay? So let's check on our pot again. Okay, it's, it's almost there. We want a good, hard rolling boil. Now you just need some freezer heavy duty Ziploc baggies. Make sure they're made for the freezer. Now on a cookie sheet, I'm gonna individually freeze these before I put them uh, all together in a bag. Okay, our water's boiling really hard. We're gonna do this very quickly. Throwing our zucchini in the pot. Make sure we get it all and timing starts right away. Don't even answer that phone. Don't even do it. 
they can call back. Now we want to get this back up really quick, keep it on high. Now we want to stop this cooking process really quickly. Let it drain for just a second. And immediately we want to take this and dump this into the ice water. There we go. Push that around a little bit. You'll see it's a little translucent. That is perfect. Make sure you separate them and get them in here. And remember to add ice to this with every batch. You need this really cold. We need to cool this very quickly. Don't break them apart, just let them sit there now. Now you're gonna let them sit there for about one to two minutes. Now we're just gonna drain this onto paper towel and let this finish draining, turning once for about five minutes. Meanwhile, we're cooling off our other set here. And again, we're just gonna drain these. And, and now I've removed layer. the paper towel and I've just put this on freezer paper. And I'm gonna hand this to John and he's gonna take it out to the freezer. Now after about three or four hours in the uh, freezer, you can see how hard they are. We've uh, got rid of the larger seeds and some of the bigger pieces. I'm just gonna break them apart like this. There you go. And now what we're gonna do, John, you wanna open this bag for me here? There you go. We're just gonna take our frozen pieces of squash Put them in a bag, like this. And then John's gonna show us how we just Ziploc the baggie. So there we go. Right up to it. And then I squeeze all the air out like this. And then he finishes sucking it off and then he zips it off and pulls the straw out. And our end result, there you go. And this is Chef Janie Pendleton on how to freeze zucchini. Enjoy.